Shri Guru Bhyo Namaha. We will now start the program with prayers recited by Srimati Manasa Venkatraman. Manasa. Umbhavam Samupe Yushi Bhagavati Kim Bharati Rajate Kim Vasadhana Samhitam Dhritava Purgyanam Samindhe Param Ityulikya Savismayam Kritadhiyo Dhyayantiyam Bharati Tirthasyasya Jagat Guru Ho Pushalada Shri Paduka Megati Vande Devam Vibhutha Vinutam Veda Vedyam Dayalum Vigna Dwanta Prashamanaravim Vishwavandyam Prasannam Vetandasyam Vidalitaripum Pama Deva Griasunum Vidyanatham Vimalayashasam Vanchitartha Pradantam Vidya Mudraksha Malam Ritakala Shakara Koti Surya Prakasha Jaya Padmod Bhavasya Pranata Janata Tehe Sarva Mishtam Dishanti Indro Pendra Divandya Tribhuvana Janani Vaksa Vitri Sharanya Teyam Shri Sharadamba Sakala Sukhakari Mangalani Pradadhyat Shuddha Spatika Sankasham Shuddha Vidya Pradayakam Shuddham Purnam Chidanandam Sada Shiva Maham Shraye Shankarupena Machittam Panki Kritama Bhutiyaya Kinkari Yatsya Samaya Shukara Dharya Mashraye Prahlada Varado Devo Yon Rasim Hafparo Hari Rasim Hopasa Tan Nityam Tan Rasim Hagurum Thaje Shri Satchidananda Shiva Bhinavya Rasim Habharatya Vithan Yatin Dran Vidya Nithin Mantra Nithin Sadat Manishthan Bhaje Manava Shampuru Pan Sadat Madhyana Niratam Vishaye Bhyafaram Mukham Naomi Shastre Shunishnatam Chandra Shekhar Bharati Vivekinam Mahapragnyam Dhaidya Udaryakshamanidhim Sadabhinava Purvantam Vidya Tirtha Gurum Bhaje Agnana Janna Vitirtham Vidya Tirtham Vivekina Sardesham Sukhadan Tirtham Bharati Tirtham Ashraye Vidya Vinaya Sampannam Vita Ragam Vivekinam Vande Vedanta Tatvagnyam Vidhushekhara Bharati Thank you, Vanasa. That was a reverential and melodious rendition. I welcome you all once again to this program. It's unfortunate that uh, Mini could not join. There were some technical issues. But we'll start now. They can see the recording later. Sada Shiva Samarambham Shankaracharya Madhyamam Asmad Acharya Paryantam Vande Guru Paramparam. Namasabhai. Tattva Loka is very happy to have you all here. Tattva Loka, as you know, is aligned to promoting our Sanskriti or tradition, values, and culture. And as Sanskritam is an integral part of our Sanskriti, it goes without saying that it is our duty to support learning of Sanskritam. Jagat Guru Sri Abhinava Vidyati Itta Mahaswamigal of Shingeri Sharada Pitham entrusted the running of Tattva Loka to Sri T.R. Ramachandran about four decades ago. Our present pub publisher, Srimati Sharala Panchapatation and TRRG, 
are still actively involved in the editorial affairs. The nucleus of the magazine revolves around the teachings of Shingeri Acharyas. The Acharyas emphasize on a strong value system and a balanced approach to life, thus preparing one for greater goals in life. This Surat Saraswati Sabha was envisioned by Jagadguru Sri Sri Abhinava Vidya Tirtha Mahaswamigal in 1969. The Sabha recently celebrated its golden anniversary in the August presence of Jagadguru Sri Sri Vidushekara Bharati Mahaswamigal. Many students were benefited by Shika Keti Jairaji's Surat Saraswati Sabha classes at Tatvaloka. Tatvaloka acknowledges his great service with gratitude. It is our duty to take up from where he left and continue with the good work. We are honored to have the director of the Sabha, Dr. Shuresh Ji, today to give us insights on how to acquire Panditya in this language, whose influence is seen in many Indian languages. Dr. Suresh Ji is deeply devoted to Shungeri Acharyas. He is extremely busy as he is the head of the depart Sanskrit department in BMS College for Women in Bangalore. Along with this, he manages the Sabha, teaches students, and is involved in many social welfare activities. Thank you, Suresh Ji, for accepting Tatwaloka's request to inaugurate our classes. I welcome Dr. Suresh Ji now to address the students. Namaste, one and all. Am I audible? Yes, Ji, yes, you're sir. audible. Yes, sir. <clears throat> वंदे गुरुणाम चरणारविंदे संदर्शिता स्वात्मसुखाव बोधे जनस्य ये जांगलिका यमाने अंतार हाला हाला मोहशांति भारती करना भारती करना पात्रम भारती बदबूचनम भारती पदमारुधम भारती तीर्थमाश्रय at the outset, I would like to congratulate and also thank Dr. Vasumati Rajaram for taking all troubles to execute this particular action. That too, in Chennai, after the sad demise of our Vidwan, Kathiti Jairaj, sir, there was a vacuum and we were thinking as to how it should be done, done now, who is going to take charge. It was Dr. Madam who had come forward and uh, she, with a lot of effort, nearly 500 plus students are there for the class now. Of course, there was uh, some uh, uh, questions and inquiries. I came uh, some 15 minutes earlier. I was just watching and listening to what Madam was uh, uh, very patiently answering each and every one. <clears throat> okay, coming back to the thing. Sura Sarasti Sabha, San the Sanskrit organization was formed by, was established by our holiness, the 35th Pontiff of Shingiri Shankar Matthi's holiness, Abhinava Vidya Tirtha Mahaswamiji. Most of you are knowing about that. Way back in uh, 1969, and uh, some four days ago, in the August presence of our uh, divine presence of our Guru uh, Bharati Swamiji, <clears throat> we also celebrated the Golden Jubilee celebrations. We could not, we could not have had done that for the last two years because of uh, pandemic. But uh, he was uh, <clears throat> where the function was held at Tringeri Shankarmat. And uh, he too had visited our uh, Surasati Sabha and has given us a lot of inputs as to how we can take it forward. <clears throat> now, uh, uh, I would like to just brief you about uh, uh, Sabha and the exams thereby. And as Madam has uh, told me, a little bit of information as to why Sanskrit is necessary. What is the use of Sanskrit? 
now uh, when when this was established in way back in 1969 with the intention of uh, reaching sanskrit to each and every one five exams were uh, um, uh, thought of at that time prathama dvitiya dvitiya and pravesha hope i am audible to everyone yes yes Yes, sir, you are audible. Fine. <clears throat> so, ma, prathama and dvitiya, hundred marks each. From tritiya onwards, there are two papers: Anuvada Pradipa, ah, tritiya, Anuvada Pradipa one, Turiya, Anuvada Pradipa two, and Esha, Anuvada Pradipa three. The textbook, which has been uh, graded. is very well thought of it is logic logical and also psychological in fact <clears throat> first two levels are very simple just introduction to sanskrit very superficial thing is there in that but as and when you enter the third stage real sanskrit learning will start there uh, no doubt the first two levels are simple simpler uh, are simpler when compared to the other three because uh, just to attract the students a few shlokas and other things are there in that just a small introduction to learning of sanskrit when it comes to the third level anuvada pradipa 1 2 and 3 are beautifully graded and uh, as you know the, there are some some 1928 verbs in sanskrit which are divided into 10 classes which are called as ganas and we have uh, each the uh, uh, is each verb so to say can be declined in 10 lakaras the three tenses and the four moods so we have an introduction to all these uh, five uh, uh, sorry 10 lakaras of all the 10 conjugations in anuvada pradipa 1 2 and 3 it is they are just graded like that we deal with the syntax part of that which is also called as the governance uh, the karaka prakarana the usage of uh, a sentence and the uh, formation of a sentence this is also very well graded Uh, right from the prathama vibhakti to the saptami vibhakti then we have the taktavatu formations the past participles we, we also have uh, the indeclinables we also have introduction to uh, the nouns and the adjectives like this uh, both in parasmai padi and atmani padi of course i i am just giving out the um i'm not going technically into that but just yeah since at least these words should be in your uh, should just fall on your ears there are teachers who um who, are, who, are, who will be taking you through all these things you don't have to worry but why i'm telling you all these things you should never stop unless you reach the goal that is the 5 fifth examination so these things are very well graded so please see that you complete all these five exams i will tell you the uh, significance of uh, doing these things <clears throat> now in the first level we have the five lakaras ranwada pradipa one we are having the five lakaras lat lot lang vidiling and also the lat lakaras both in uh, parasmai padi and atmani padi used there are Uh, sentences which are given from sanskrit to english and english to sanskrit on each we are having some 24 sentences 12 sentences from sanskrit to english and 12 sentences from english to sanskrit which will help you to slowly gain reputation or gain uh, the hold over the language one then we also have uh, um, the taktavatu pratyayas the past participles we have the tumunam the tumunantavia which are called as the gerunds in english and also um, the infinitives tumunantavia the infinitives so then we have uh, the usage of the parasmaipadi uh, the, the sorry uh, 
the active and passive voice shatru shanach present participles they are the students are being introduced we also have one more thing that is uh, called as uh, uh, a small uh, letter writing things and also the uh, uh, small uh, short notes and other things and small essay writing eight to 10 sentences mama vidyalaya asmakam granthalaya mahatma gandhi like this small small sentences uh, as you can you can frame sentences and you can write these are the things which are in anuvada pradipa 1 in anuvada pradipa 2 we deal with the other five lakaras called the lit lakara lut lakara drung lakara lung lakara and also the ashir ling lakara both in parasmai padi and atmanita here also we deal with uh, the impersonal voice which is called as bhavi prayoga it is extraordinary in uh, sanskrit language it is not found in english but uh, um, it is called as bhavi prayoga we deal with that and little bit of chandas we deal with the prosody or whatever it is there whatever you could call it meters it is also called as meters the anuttap chandas the sadhara meter and uh, many more like that then we deal with little bit of figures of speech <clears throat> we also have an exercise on the taddhita prakarana <clears throat> which is very very important and for your information for uh, the uh, the syllabus has been set for turiya and pravesha by his Hose, Hose, holiness bharati tirtha mahaswami ji only so he has picked up the shlokas or the lessons or something or whatever it may be the uh, it is the introduction to classical uh, sanskrit like kalidasa's works and other things so um, to upgrade ourselves it is absolutely necessary to know about all these things then in the third level anuvada pradipa 3 we have the lakaras once again in the first and second we had the verbs which are found in the first fourth sixth and tenth conjugations whereas in the uh, third anuvada pradipa we have dealt with the verbs which are occurring in other six ganas thereby a complete holistic view of the verbs are given in sanskrit verbs they form a very very big ocean so once you have command over that then it will be easy for you to understand sanskrit now the uh, lessons which are appropriately uh, used the, whatever you have you are going to learn in anuvada pradipa 1 the uh, the uh, uh, implementation of those things you can find in the tritiya textbook which is there for 100 marks then once again in anuvada pradipa to whatever you are going to find the implementation of that you can find in the anuva in uh, turiya textbook that is also for 100 marks similarly in anuvada pradipa 3 whatever you have learned the implication of that you can find in pravesha textbook there is a reason why i told you it is very beautifully graded it is logical and also psychological in fact uh, now coming to the benefit of learning uh, sanskrit in this way is first of all technically you will be very very sound uh, i don't believe if at all someone should say learn sanskrit in 15 days someone should say any language for that matter uh, which, is, which is impossible uh, simply we, we say just to give a glance just to give a so the idea of that particular language and once you lose uh, after after going for the class for 15 days you learn bhavatya nama kim bhavatah nama kim bhavati kutra vasati bhava bhavan kutra vasati kutah agachati etc etc uh, teaching is there definitely but unless you get the environment like that further that learning will just go away go in vain after 15 days 20 days or one month you will know if at all you are not in and that particular environment where you speak uh, with uh, with people who know sanskrit automatically you will lose touch but here you are going to get a very very strong foundation 
technically you will be strong and of course even after 10 years you will not be able you, you, you will never uh, forget the language there is this is one of the uh, significance of learning sanskrit and uh, i find many um, and this is for open for all in fact uh, uh, not only small children even elderly people used to uh, uh, can take up these examination uh, there is no hard and fast rule that you should be qualified you, you, you should know devanagari something like that no we are going to teach you right from scratch prathama right from alphabets we are going to teach you if you don't know the, the alphabets also so uh, one thing which i would like to stress upon this particular thing is strong you will be very very technically strong and after the completion of the five level examinations trust me you will be able to read ramayana mahabharata bhagavata all the puranas without a translator so to say if you have studied in that way putting in lot of efforts definitely you will be able to do of course there are some of the uh, logic and other things which may involve philosophical aspects you may not be able to understand that is there because that is a different uh, 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 what to say field of uh, branch of learning but this sanskrit learning will definitely be a tool for you it, it is just like the key to enter into the uh, field of San sanskrit wherein whichever the branch you want now basic knowledge of sanskrit we are going to give you in all these five levels if at all you should come uh, uh, traverse to all of uh, all these exams if you are qualified automatically you will get that particular knowledge no doubt it is true one more thing which i would like to in, uh, inform you is whether you read uh, whether you sing uh, uh, dikshita krutis shama shastri krutis or tyagaraja skrutis which are in uh, sanskrit you will be able to understand what you are reciting what you are singing maybe the shlokas of shankaracharya or um, any any uh, anything for that matter you will be able to understand the meaning and then you will be able to uh, re recite that that is another benefit of learning sanskrit the third thing is you will come to know about the rich heritage of our sanskrit the culture sans um, uh, our bharatiya culture for example just the word if, if at all i should take the word bharat what is bharata the indian indian is not bharata if you should translate bharata as indian no because if you see the word what it tells bhasi ratah bharata yes crossed in the light bha means beluku ba ba means light which light the supreme light so is it doesn't this understanding of the language in its uh, truest sense lead you inwards not outwards but lead you inwards so bhasi ratah here means he who is engrossed in the supreme light which is well within himself mm -hmm. so thereby rishi what is the word rishi what is the meaning of rishi rishi is just a mendicant no rishi gnane rishi means a person who is gnani generally we 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 refer the rishi means a person who is having dhadi who is having the matted hair who has who comes with a kamandalu and other things who is always ready to curse anyone or give boon to anyone no but you when you go deep into the understanding of the word so this is how you come to know what the actual meaning of the word then you will start appreciating the language this we try to give you a uh, uh, um, what is to stimulate that particular thing in you it is you people know all these things but a little bit of uh, um, uh, uh, knowledge just uh, uh, everything is already present in the room you just switch on the light we are giving you the torch there sanskrit language is like like a torch you enter into the room you find all different different things there how nice it would be to appreciate to understand that this is what our sanskrit language if you learn for what what you are going to get and regarding uh, uh, the <clears throat> people who are in bangalore 
I just I have had just picked out some of the uh, questions which were being answered by uh, Vasumati Madam. Yes, here we have we, we are having uh, uh, Suraswati Sabha in Shankar Puram, uh, adjacent to Shringeri Shankar Mat. Uh, you people can come. We work between uh, 10 30 to 1, 1 o'clock in the mornings and 4 30 to 6 o'clock in the evenings. The books are also available in our sabha and also if you should visit during any other time uh, except in the afternoon between say 1 to 4 or so um, you will you can get the books from our uh, uh, Shringeri Shankar Mat also in the Shringeri Shankar Mat premises adjacent to Sharada Sharadamba's temple there is a bookstore there also you are going to get we can also courier some of the uh, people if at all you some of you want the books you are, you live too very far you can just um, uh, write to surasaraswatisabha.org or um, surasaraswatisabha at gmail.com and give your uh, uh, residential address with your name and please don't forget to give the mobile number because when they don't find uh, the courier people will ring you up and inquire about the place and they will come and deliver to you. That can be done. Uh, we, we, we will be able to send the books to you people. No problem. But courier charges will be there. What we generally uh, tell the people when they ring up to us is we say, why don't you purchase the entire set of books, of nine, nine books, all put together somewhere around it is 285 rupees or 300 rupees, plus the courier charges. If you should send two books or if you should send nine books, the courier, courier charges will remain the same. So we try, we try to help you out in this way also. Or if you can come down to our sabha, and take it up. That also is very nice. Um, if you if you want any other query, you can always uh, uh, ring up to us. My number is nine seven four double zero seven three five eight seven nine seven four double zero seven three five eight seven. We are here to help you out at any point of time. Since I too am working. So if at all you give me a ring, if at all I am having a class, I may not be able to reply to you. But anyhow, the, if you should just message me, I will ring you up and try to solve your problem. Uh, so these are the things which I would like to tell you. If you have any query uh, regarding Sabha, you can always uh, uh, ask me. Uh, I believe that each and everyone will take up this particular task uh, of not only take up, uh, you should never leave it at any point of time. You should reach the goal, whatever may be the hurdles. All the five levels you are supposed to write. That is what is my wish. Uh, uh, all, all of you should take up learning of Sanskrit seriously. And by the word of mouth, you can also spread it to others. Namaste, one and all. Thank you, Dr. Suresh Ji. Namaste. That was a very uh, informative and uh, inspiring uh, uh, talk by, given by you. And thank you on behalf of Tatwaloka for accepting uh, this uh, in, you know, amongst, uh, in spite of your busy schedule. Um, I will now uh, invite the teachers to introduce themselves. Uh, maybe all the teachers are not there. But at least those who are there can uh, join us. Srimati Jayashri Venkatraman. I am Jayashri Venkatraman. Uh, my passion uh, for Sanskrit has been for, there for, uh, for several years now. Though I have been, uh, uh, there has been a lot of uh, breaks in between. But uh, to continue that, this Tatwaloka Sura Saraswati program has been. Uh, um, and a very inviting thing for me. So uh, I hope to do justice to this role and uh, reach Sanskrit to as many people as possible because uh, we have we have seen the difficulties of uh, learning this language. So uh, I think uh, I think we can address that and then train the help people uh, learn it is uh, is what I am thinking. Let uh, with Acharya's grace. Let uh, let uh, this program be a success. 
hope to meet uh, hope to meet all of you from tomorrow thank you jay shri ji uh, next is uh, dr ravalli anand namaste uh, shastrabhi paradrishvanam sangahinam tapomidhi bhade shri bharati teerth gurum bhadrav gadayakam vidya vinaya sampannam vitaragam vivekinam vande vedanta tatvagyam vidhushekhara bharati uh, i introduce myself as uh, valli anand i live in chennai and i have been uh, a student of sanskritam for the last 25 years uh with breaks of course because of family situations i have been involved in teaching of this language at various levels for the last uh, 10 to 12 years at school and uh, college levels also uh, being associated with sura saraswati sabha and being part of the propagation of this language is indeed a very great honor and absolutely a service to both the language the uh, our acharyas the language and the vangmaya the sanskrita vangmaya that we all should give back to at some small or big level one thing that i have observed is when we inculcate or try to introduce this language at the young age of course because of various uh, situations in today's world there is bound to be a break there are bound to be disturbances children tend to uh, be disconnected with the study active study of the language but the beauty of our culture being in our culture is that there is always a constant connect with the language whether or not we actively involve in it if there are children who study who uh, chant shlokas every day or if there are children who go to the temple at least once or twice a week the language keeps falling in their ears all the time so the samskara that we inculcate at a young age remains through and always even after a break whether we are old or young we can always take it up from where we left and get more involved in the serious study of the language so at whatever small way that i can i hope to be able to uh, bring in more students who can take up this language more people interested and who will take up the study and uh, get involved in our uh, rich cultural heritage namaste and thank you let us meet tomorrow as per our respective schedule thank you vali ji i now invite uh, shrimati anusha hari shri guru bhyo namaha namaste namas sarve bhyo mama nama anusha aham chennai nagare nivasami uh, aham purvam टेक्सस प्रदेश डालस नगरे बालकेंद्रे संस्कृत भारतकेंद्रे एवं प्रौढ़वर्ग पाठितवती इदानी अत्र उत्सुकेन पाठयुम इच्छा प्रथम गणे अहम भाग वोड़ इच्छा अनतर विशिष्य लेखन विषय मम अभिचि अस्त गत संवत्सरे अहम श्रीमद्भागवतपुराण से लेखन सामपितवती इदानी अहम रायण से लेखन इदानी अहम लिखती अस्म वी विल ऑल मीट इन अवर क्लास टुमारो धन्यवाद नमस्ते थैंक यू अनिशा जी गीता जी श्री गुरुभ्यो नम Am I audible? Yes. Sarve bhihan namaskar ha. I am actually I still consider myself a student <laughs> because uh, there is still a long way to go. Uh, I am indeed fortunate to be a student of uh, Suresh sir, and uh, um, as uh, told by him, I mean it's not very easy to. go after uh, trutiya because till trutiya it, it was kind of uh, little easier for me but uh, turiya i should say that it was uh, uh, suresh sir's motivation that made me you know pursue further and uh, i am totally indebted to him because uh, it ha it has really opened up new channels for me uh, earlier i was reading the epics like ramayana or bhagavatam uh, but uh, uh, 
like uh, i used to recite it i mean uh, there was no curiosity to know the meaning of the shlokas then uh, but now uh, 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 like each and i cannot proceed without knowing the meaning of the shloka so uh, it, it is like something like sanskrit has just you know um, kind of attracting me still <laughs> so uh, uh, what my request is Uh, there may be a lot of obstacles uh, for the i mean for studying this because we may have lot of other commitments uh, but i would request everyone to uh, start and pursue and uh, with sincerity and whatever little time you can give to the study please give uh, because this is going to really benefit you um, and you would be very uh, thankful um, you know uh, for having taken this uh, great step uh, in your life i mean uh, because uh, even i have also done engineering and i know how professional practices are also important uh, but uh, um, nothing has given satisfaction like uh, how the study of sanskrit has given me um, uh, now when i read the bhagavad gita or even when i listen from acharyas i can really appreciate and uh, i'm just thankful to everyone and especially suresh sir uh, and hopefully i think i can inspire the students Uh, to go forward and um, uh, uh, i uh, i i just hope to meet the students tomorrow thank you very much thank you shrimati kausalya ji okay she could i think she could not join kausalya ji is uh, based in um, uh, noida and uh, she is pursuing uh, sanskrit studies uh, seriously she is doing her uh, ma now and uh, she has studied under dr suresh ji so uh, and he is uh, he had recommended her to me so she is very proficient so it is uh, make use of the opportunity and uh, attend her classes regularly and next we have uh, shrimati sri ranjani प्रचार uh there and after successfully completing three levels my interest uh, took a turn uh, suddenly and i landed myself into the world of uh, divine vyakarana shastra so i completed acharya setu uh, from mukta um, swadhyaya peetam uh, shringeri um and then uh, so uh, my guru often says swadhyaya pravachana abhyam ma pramaditavyam so this means that one should not stop learning learning is a continuous process throughout your life and one must also not stop preaching what you have already learned so as per her advice i started teaching young school children uh, through the shri vidya sanskrit uh, sampradaya varga uh, initiated by the kanchimat so um, so my message to all the students who have assembled here so please put in all your uh, best efforts to learn this divine language i am very sure you will uh, definitely get a lot of happiness and fulfillment in your life by uh, you know by the study of uh, this language so that's it so we will all meet tomorrow okay. thank you thank you shri ranjani ji is uh, shri k subramanyam ji here no ma'am he also put in log in because of okay okay um shri k subramanyam ji is uh, has retired and he's a great devotee of acharya and uh, he's taken this as a service um he uh, in, in in fact i should share with you he has some uh, uh, his uh, many in his family have been admitted to the hospitals various hospitals three hospitals in chennai and uh, in spite of that he said because this acharya's uh, uh, event i cannot let go of this and i will also have the duty of dinner classes that is his commitment and uh, uh, and i do hope the teacher the uh, students and his batch make use of such a good teacher and have the same commitment and motivation um i now invite um shrimati ranjani 
Namaskaram. So my name is Shivaranjani. I'm from Bangalore. Uh, my Sanskrit journey started almost six years back when I attended a Shibiram uh, conducted by Samskrita Bharati in our apartment. Then I started with uh, Pravesha and completed Kovida from Samskrita Bharati uh, with breaks. So I was working, so I couldn't do it continuously, but slowly I didn't leave, but uh, I completed my Kovida. Then again, I started learning. Um, uh, I started learning from Goda Mami, the Chittur course who is there in uh, Malayshuram. Then again, under the guidance of Sri Murli Dhar Sharma here in Bangalore, I have started this Prathama Dvitiya courses. So now I'm in uh, Turiya. I have uh, completed till Trithiya. I'm learning uh, Turiya now. The chapters in Trithiya and the uh, Dvitiya Prathama are so inspiring that all kids should know uh, these stories and should learn, uh, should really uh, take up the moral from those stories. So I recommend all the kids to learn this and uh, with dedication, we, are we all are here to help you out. Uh, so I also thank Tatvaloka for this opportunity and I hope I will do my best to teach these students and help, um, help them understand better and pursue further. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Is uh, Dr. Anuradha here? So I'm Dr. Anuradha Shivakumar. Namaskarvebhya. I've done my research in uh, Yoga Shastra. I've done my MPhil and PhD in Yoga Shastra. Um, I'm a volunteer for Samskrita Bharati for the past 13 years. I've been teaching Samskritam and uh, mentoring my students to become teachers also. Um, I also take guest lectures on various uh, subjects in our Shastras to some of the colleges in and around Chennai. Um, presently, I'm writing uh, uh, different monographs on specific uh, subjects in the Shastras for the uh, Kupuswami Shastri Research Center in Chennai, Research Institute in Chennai. So um, that's all about me. I'm now very glad and I'm uh, really delighted to be associated with Tattva Loka and uh, to teach some stutam for the students of uh, uh, Sri Sura Saraswati Sabha of Shringeri. Um, I thank for this opportunity and uh, I welcome all the students to this uh, beautiful, wonderful world of uh, Samskritam. I wish all of you a very best in your Samskritam studies. Thank you so much. Thank you, Anuradha ji. Uh, Dr. Uh, Goda, Goda, madam. Namaste. Namaste, Baba. Namaskar Vebhya. I am... Uh, you can be louder, madam. You can speak loudly. Yeah, fine. Namaskar Vebhya. Am I here? Clear? Yes, yes, we can hear you. Uh, Namaskar Bhai. Good evening to everybody. I am Mrs. Goda Krishna. I am not yet Dr. Goda Krishna. I have just submitted my thesis. So Sanskrit has been something like a second nature to me. I hail from a family of uh, Sanskrit scholars. And I've had the good fortune of having uh, professors like uh, Dr. Pandurangi, Dr. Lakshmi Patachar, uh, Dr. Kameshwari, and uh, Dr. Balsubramaniam, and Dr. Vasteva in the uh, Kupaswami Research Institute. I'm very thankful to Tataloka for giving me this wonderful opportunity to get back to Sanskrit. Uh, age is not at all a bar for uh, learning the language. The amount of richness and the heritage it has, I would uh, be very happy to disseminate any little, uh, any minuscule part of knowledge that's available in this uh, great Vangmaya of Sanskrit. I welcome all the students and uh, can assure that they will find it very interesting to dip into the rich heritage of this glorious language. So, looking forward to contribute my might in this field. I've been working, I had been working with the RBI for 37 years. After a long break, I worked for some time as a volunteer with Samskrit Bharati. I've taught them for a while. Then again, after a break, I have I did register for my PhD with the Kupaswami Research Institute. I just submitted my thesis day before yesterday and uh, I had Vasumati, Dr. Vasumati Madam requesting me to 
be a part of this great uh, service so i hope i'll be able to uh, help you people to know how interesting the language is eagerly looking forward to enjoy sanskrit with all of you thank you all thank you uh, goda ma'am is uh, kumari chaitra here Yes, ma'am. Am I audible? Yes. Shri Guru Kya Namaha. Namas Sarve Bhya Namas Sabhaye. I am Chaitra, a student of second year BSc at BMS College for Women, Bengaluru. I began learning Sanskritam when I was in sixth standard. It was a compulsory subject for us back then. My Sanskritam teachers at Nyanodaya School inculcated the interest to learn Sanskritam. they made us understand that we will be able to study the original texts of ramayana mahabharata bhagavata and kavyas only if we study sanskritam well then onwards my interest in this language increased my mother had completed all the five levels from prathama to pravesha during her school days she made me take up the sabha exams currently i am a student of dr n s suresh mahodaya in the golden jubilee function of shri sura saraswati sabha his holiness shri shri vidhushekara bharati sannidhanam urged all the sanskritam enthusiasts to fulfill the dream of his holiness shri shri abhinava vidya tirtha mahaswami ji and his holiness shri shri bharati tirtha mahasannidhanam by learning sanskritam well and propagating it keeping this in mind let us learn sanskritam and spread the fragrance of our sanatana samskriti all over the world vande sanskrita mataram thank you that was uh, wonderful a young girl uh, like chaitra uh, addressing us inspiring everyone uh, kumari prapti are you there so uh, namaste everyone this is prapti uh, i am currently pursuing my uh, bsc second year at bms uh, college for women i am a student of uh, dr ina uh, suresh mahodaya so i have been learning sanskrit since i was in fifth standard now uh, it was uh, like um, i took sanskrit as everyone told it was a scoring subject but later on i inculcated and i developed very uh, uh, so much of eagerness and uh, liking for the subject uh, my teachers were also a, a constant source of support for me i have completed turiya exam and currently i am pursuing pravesha exam Uh, so uh, i uh, i can uh, proudly tell i am a, a student of uh, dr suresh sir now uh, like everyone said uh, we are like i am also i am still learning and i am uh, looking forward to learn and explore more about uh, this language so let us meet tomorrow thank you thank you prapti ji um our next uh, teacher is uh, shrimati k s bhona she is in shringeri now so she will not be able to join us um everyone in chennai knows um, bhona ji uh, she is she has been a teacher in uh, vidyamandir uh, school mailapu for more than 20 years she is a very capable teacher her hard task master and uh, she will see that you all learn sanskrit Mm, and with this we come to a close uh, we will all uh, you will meet your respective teachers um, we will give you the link to the classes to for tomorrow that is july 9th and uh, please do join the time may not suit you but uh, try to make sure that you are just for one day and join and i once again thank dr suresh ji for uh, sparing his time and um, i would also like to thank our volunteers sharanya ji and sundara meenakshi ji without whose support this could not have happened thank you everyone